is after watching this necrosis and you've seen potatoes with a little brown line sometimes or spots that comes through it well mcdonald's won't buy them if you if your potatoes have that and the only way to eliminate that is to eliminate an aphid and the only way to do that is with a pesticide called monitor that is so toxic that the farmers who grow these potatoes in idaho uh won't venture outside into their fields for five days after they spray uh, and then when they harvest their potatoes, they, they have to put them in these atmosphere-controlled sheds the size of a football stadium uh, because they're not edible for six weeks. They have to off-gas all the chemicals. Ah, yes, Michael Pollan. He has perfected the art of saying maybe just a little nugget of truth and following it up with a steaming hot pile of bullshit. All right, so he's talking about a viral disease in potatoes called net necrosis, and I don't think anybody would want to serve potatoes with that and not just McDonald's. So why does he specifically say McDonald's? Because he knows when he says McDonald's, it will get attention. He knows exactly what he's doing. And so do the people that share these types of clips. This is what it looks like. So obviously consumers don't want that and farmers don't want that either. It's not just McDonald's. So of course, to prevent things like that, yes, farmers do sometimes need to use pesticides. So then he goes on to talk about a specific pesticide called Monitor, which was interesting because he made this video in 2014 and that specific pesticide was voluntarily canceled in 2009. Any potato farmers want to correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it's been used on potatoes since 2009. Why he was talking about it in 2014 as though it was still being used, I don't know. And he claims that's the only way to control for this, which isn't true. There are many different ways to control for it. Obviously, that specific pesticide hasn't been used since 2009. Also, for safety reasons for farm workers, the EPA sets re-entry intervals. So yeah, there could be a specific number of days that farm workers might not be able to enter the field after a pesticide has been sprayed. And that is for their safety. Obviously, they're going to be exposed to at it at high doses. I mean, honestly, that'd be like saying we shouldn't drink water because your two-year-old shouldn't go swimming by themselves. Like, that's for their safety. Water is still safe to drink. It's honestly ridiculous that he's trying to imply that the food is unsafe because of that safety standard. All right, so what about the claim that they need to off-gas for 60 days? That one is just completely false. So yes, large quantities of potatoes can be stored for a long period of time, and that is so we as consumers have potatoes year-round in our grocery stores. I could not care less whether you eat fries from McDonald's, but this is just ridiculous fear-mongering. And beyond that, it's just such an inaccurate representation of the potato industry. Why people still listen to this guy for food advice, I have no idea.